Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video we are going to look at what happened to the markets, what we can expect from the markets tomorrow and what happened to our trade. Before we move on, I would also like to give a quick update as to what happened yesterday. Because yesterday we couldn't make a video and we ended up losing close to around 2 lakh in yesterday's trade. Just to give a summary of what happened yesterday, the markets opened in close to around 16,200. So it opened and that was more or less the highest point of the day. From there on the market slowly started coming down and closed at the lowest point of the day. We were slightly bullish to range bound and our view went completely wrong and we ended up losing close to around 2 lakh. So yesterday the price action was quite negative. On top of that we also had a negative news from US. So the US inflation data came well over 9% and this was a very bad news because it was way above the expectation and in such cases the Fed will further increase the interest rates more than expected. So that's the reason immediately after this news came SGX Nifty fell close to around 150 points and even Dow Jones as well as DAX everything came down almost around 1%. But to our surprise, this news was factored in quite well and US markets almost ended flat. This meant even Asia had to open positive because US had recovered most of its losses. So similar to the expectation, even Asia ended up opening positive, even Nifty ended up opening positive well above 16,000. So the thing is, yesterday Nifty had closed below 16,000 and Bank Nifty had also closed below 35,000 which was not so positive sign. It was actually a negative sign or a bearish sign. Today we opened above 16,000 but we weren't able to sustain 16,000. We again fell back below 16,000 and Nifty went to red closer towards 5,900. Even Bank Nifty retested 35,000 but it was not able to break that and it again came down towards 34,500. So if you look at the price action of yesterday and today it is not so positive because whenever the market is trying to bounce back up immediately we are seeing some kind of selling. So the market is immediately brought down. On top of that, if you look at the option premium, so today it was quite surprising because Nifty option premium around 12 o'clock was pricing in close to around 40 rupees and Nifty is right now trading around 16,000. 40 rupees means less than 0.4% and the thing is when there is 3 hours left and imagine the short straddle is just pricing in 0.3% so it is obviously not so easy to trade such days. So that's why we ended up trading in next week options that is 21st expiry options today. And now coming to what happened to today's market, again we opened up higher, ended almost at the lowest point of the day but thankfully we were able to hold 15,900. So even though we went closer towards 15,850, we bounced back and closed well above 15,900. When you take a look at Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty closed below 34,700. 34,700 for Bank Nifty is a very strong support and we have closed well below this strong support reason of 34,700 to 34,800. So once we have taken out this region, this region of 34,700 and 800 is now going to act as a resistance. So what is more important tomorrow is whether we are going to open and sustain above 34,700 or not. In case we are not sustaining above 34,700 to 800 region, then we can expect some further downside towards 34,000. So this is what we are expecting personally. Now if you look at Nifty also, we do expect a stiff resistance at 16,200 and a good support coming in at 15,700. So this short straddle of 15,700 to 16,200 can also be a very good option uh, for next week trade. And this is definitely something which we are going to consider. In Bank Nifty, 34,500 short straddle is a very good option. So these two are trades which we certainly have in our mind depending on how the market opens. So unless there is no huge gap up or gap down, so most likely we will end up taking these trades. This is more or less the market expectation as well. And now coming on to what happened to our trade. So today, uh, even though the market ended up sliding down, we were booking part profits uh, then and there. And also we were mainly trading in the next week option. So overall we ended up making close to around 2 lakh positive. So we had some future positions due to which we got hit. Apart from that option trades uh, went fairly well. We ended up around 2.2 lakh. And majority of the contribution uh, came from next week trade. And this week uh, trade we took some but uh, we more or less ended with no profit no loss because the premiums were quite low and if you look at Bank Nifty today, it opened around 34,800, went to 35,000 came down closer towards 34,500. So there was a huge uh, move 
actually if you have just made a 34700 or 34800 short straddle you would have made quite a lot of money but uh, the market was so volatile in between it was quite hard for you to hold this straddle without doing any kind of adjustment we were actually uh, in this straddle in the morning but obviously we couldn't hold this for long because market crossed 35000 and on the lower side it crossed 34600 on the downside so this is uh, more or less what happened to our trade so now for tomorrow we do not carry much positions we only have two positions that is a very simple short triangle in bank nifty that is 34000 put short 35000 call short 1500 quantity each so this is the only trade what we are holding so tomorrow we will start being little more aggressive with bank nifty or nifty depending on how the market is with this we also come to the end of this video if you have liked this video do not forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to optionables thank you so much for joining